Stuart. I thought I was going to drop dead there at one point. Uh, if only. Oh, Christ, but I'm sweating like a hooker in mass. Let's grab these. We're going to sit in a different couch, Mummy. I don't know about that. Come on, Mummy. We just want our own space. We're not wings. We don't need to be constantly supervised. Where's Clay? Shit! Enjoy what time we have left. Doesn't even make any sense. It means we fail there. It means no GCSEs. Ergo, no A levels. Ergo, no university. Ergo, the end. Ergo, wise up, Claire. You're overreacting. I knew I should have cut ties with you lot a long time ago. It's not our fault. Of course it's your fault. You've dragged me down to your level. Your stupidity has finally rubbed off on me. I was a scholar when I met you, Erin, a scholar. You were three. Our lives are over. I wouldn't say our lives are over. Passing those exams was our only chance. We're girls. We're poor. We're from Northern Ireland and we're Catholic, for Christ's sake. Oh my God, she's right. What type of future will we have? We don't need to worry about the future, Anne. If we fail, well, our mas are going to fucking wipe us out and dead people don't need jobs. Oh, thank you, Michelle. That's very reassuring. How bad do you think it is? Do you think it's, like, grounded bad or... Run away from home bad? Exactly. And if it is run away from home bad, I'm afraid I will need my snorkel back, James. OK, let's not panic. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's <laughs> just wait until tomorrow and see what we're dealing with. Or we can see what we're dealing with tonight. <laughs> oh, I... You have a slight concern. The best plan might be a little flawed. Do you want to find out or not, Claire? But shouldn't we wait till dawn? No, we shouldn't, Clint Eastwood. Won't the alarm go off? I know the code. Oi. Last summer, I had a bit of a thing with Jackie Ryan. Jackie Ryan? Jackie Ryan, the caretaker, he's about 60. That's disgusting. That's elder abuse and he's married. I just think that is the most... Jackie Ryan's son. Oh, right. We used to sneak in here all the time. Oh, the things we got up to in them crash mat scares. <laughs> Of course she's friends with a half price, and of course she is. She has been fucking unbearable since Ambrosius came off. Dose. Well, I'm gonna make friends with a full Protestant and see how she likes it. Zara will seem quite so impressive next to my thoroughbred, will she, Jenny? Relax, Claire. Let's just get on there, have a few drinks, and just loosen up a bit. No, no, loosen it up. I don't like it. Just be confident, Erin. Boys like that. The reason I was interested in whether you were a fully blown Protestant is because, as far as I'm concerned, you can't be Protestant enough. I am all for the Protestants. I can't get enough of them. Protestant mad I am. And I think, and I may be running with this, but I'm sure you really like Catholics too. It's just that we have been conditioned to... I don't. What? You don't? No. I hate them. I think they're all arseholes. That's not true. That can't be true. That is. They're all thick as shit. I despise them. Really do. Okay. Time to get the band back together. Purse. Check. Look, wolf. Check. Hubba bubba. Check. Ulster bus timetable. Shit. Mommy! Have you seen the Ulster bus timetable? Screw getting this at hand, girls. Honestly. I can't thank you enough. Christ, the amount of crap we had this shift. We thought we'd be here all night. No sweat. Sorry, what's your name? Hans. 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 Yeah, Hans. Was that like a nickname or...? No, it's a first name. You know, like Hans Christian Anderson. It's very unusual. Isn't it just? Yeah, my mother, she was Danish. Was she now? She was, yeah. I never knew that. Well, now you do. I've right, just whacked them in there. Good work. Fair play, do you love? I think that's the last of it, girls. Let me give you something for your trouble. Oh, not at all. Oh, that's far too much. Tears, hands. You mind yourselves now? Yeah. Slam. Hands. Prick. They were so signed. And that hands fell out on our shot on like two boiled eggs. I hope they're getting over time. Oh, fuck me too. Yeah, that was someone with the gear they shifted. It was, wasn't it? Hey. They didn't actually say why they were taking it, did they? No. Uh, also, now that I think about it, weren't those computers like <laughs> relatively new? I think they might have been, yeah. Right. So, is it a bit weird that 
two men we've never seen before just sort of took away a load of really expensive equipment in the middle of the night. What are you getting at, Claire? It's just that, now, on reflection, I'm slightly worried you might have accidentally helped her in the school. Claire Devlin, there you are. I I'm not sure about this. Kill the grand. No, listen, you, you don't understand. No, where's your buddy? Good mind yourself. Come on up. <laughs> Philip will control Claire's descent by feeding her rope through what's known as a belay device. So he'll be the one actually dictating the speed of her drop. I think if it's okay, I'd just like to take a moment and just. <laughs> Are you ready, Philip? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody, so on three. Seriously, folks, I'm not feeling entirely comfortable with this. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. Didn't. Last night, you said you hated Catholics, admit it! I said I hated athletes. I'm not much of a sports fan. But we weren't even talking about athletes! Yeah, well, I thought we were. Why would you have thought we were talking about athletes? Because I'm deaf in one ear. Catholic sounds a bit like athletes, to be fair to you, Mike. Like Why can't you just accept that, babe? Excuse me, please! What is it, honey? I was at the train. I was in the loo, and when I came out, everyone was gone, and it was the wrong platform, and I ran across, but it was too late, and I missed the train! Okay, love, keep your knickers on. My knickers are no concern of yours, thank you very much. 20 minutes till the next one. Take a seat, gorgeous. Oh, 20 minutes? Yeah, sorry, I think I can wait 20 minutes. I think that's fine. For a crime we didn't commit, we'll be like the Guildford Four or the Birmingham Six. Or the A-Team. No, we can't go to prison, Gears. We're too delicate for prison. We go to convent school, Aaron, for fuck's sake, we'll be grand. Excuse me, Mum. Can I just say I'll be absolutely willing to give evidence against these guys if the right deal was on the table? Seriously, Claire! Where's Shapes? Oh, Jesus Christ. If I've left him on the bus again, my mask gonna go nuts. Hi, Hi guys. guys. Bye, Bye, guys. They're doing this 24-hour dance a thing. They haven't slept. What? Why are they so bouncy? They're off their tats on lemon sherbet. Seriously, between them and Marcel Marceau over here, I... Oh. How's it going? You're really not going to talk for 24 hours. Yeah, it's tough. It's not happening. Drugs are for mugs, folks. Congratulations, Claire. That might be the duckiest sentence that anyone's ever said. Come on, Michelle. What makes you think you can trust this Macca person? Well, it's not English for a start, so... James has a point. Oh, no, he doesn't. What if he gives us dodgy gear? Dodgy gear? What is this, the bell? I cannot believe you're even discussing it. Let's love a little for fuck's sake. I want no part of this. And if you guys decide to go through with it, then I'm sorry, but any friendship we have is over. Rock the boat! It's rock the boat! I know we're going to smash this, kids. We are going to lift that trophy. We are going to perform live on the motherfucking BBC and we are going to wipe that smile off Jenny Joyce's stupid face. Yeah! Let's do yeah. it! Hit it! How many times do I have to fucking explain it? It is two steps forward, two steps back. It can't be any fucking simpler. What the fuck is wrong with you all? You're the one that's out of time. Say that again, James, and I will throw you. I will lay you out. I think the first bit's pretty good. First bit's shy, Aaron. You don't think you're being electrocuted, and what the fuck do you think you're doing, Claire the Hacker? Fuck! Come on, Mary. I can't keep real. No one needs to find out. No, look. Look, it's not like I'm not flattered. You call me when you change your mind. When? You're sure of yourself? I know how to get what I want. Mary! 
I've got a bit of a vegetable situation going on here. I'm coming. It's not my fault your choreography is for dance room, Michelle. Kiss my actual whole air. I think we all just need to calm down. Heads off, James! Okay, that is it. I'm going solo. Oh, Christ, here we go. Screwdriver. Uh, Bell. Uh, Apron. Fanny. Big Fanny? Fanny Payne. The plumber was trying to get off with Aaron's ma! The plumber was trying to get off with Aaron's ma. Now you need to give all my sponsorship money back. We're gonna need more details, Claire. I saw them together in the hall. He was whispering things to you, you know, suggestive things. My ma. He was coming on to my ma. What is he, some sort of reverse pedophile? I bet Mary told him where to go. Not exactly. Here we go. Sister Michael. Hi. Claire. I, I wasn't sure you saw me. No, no, I did. Right. Heading to Port Rush? Yep. Anything nice planned? Nope. OK. I just don't see the point. Can we just move on? All right, Connor. The truth is, you never satisfied me sexually. Oh, please, no. What's going on, Michelle? Do you want to say something, class? What is it? Prepare yourself, kids. Scones. That's right. What's so class about scones? Scones are lovely. I, I like scones. No, these aren't any old scones, girls. These are funny scones. Ah, they do look like a crack of fairness. Funny scones. They're jug scones! She's put the jugs in the scones! Maybe just go over there and be ourselves, girls. Well, not totally ourselves. We should definitely be a bit ourselves. We could also pretend we're sort of better than we actually are. So I suppose what I'm saying is we could sort of present a version of ourselves as less... Crap. Precisely. Why do we even have to talk to her? Because she's new, Michelle. Oh, I hate people I don't know. And in case you had noticed, she also happens to be Chinese. I mean, how in class would it be to have a Chinese friend? Like a keeper in my toy box? No, we couldn't, Dorla. Oh, she definitely fit. That is not the point. Fine. But can we agree it's on a strict one-in, one-out basis? She joins a group, James has to leave. Of course. Absolutely. Excuse me. Leoha, you say unga he, or do ungo si leya, chole you go fit ye ya. Is she all right? Burn and Fiegler? It's Cantonese. Right. Well, I'm from Donegal and we speak English there. If you say so, may, but I spent a summer in Kelly Bags and seriously, not a fucking word. We just wanted to introduce ourselves. Okay, I think I see where this is going. I get this a lot. Dull white girls want to be to join their gang because, well, we're not dull. Sure. And I'm actually a boy. Well, she has a really fucked up accent. I well, know. What's this for me? What are you bringing to the table? Cream crackers. I'm good for cream crackers, thank you. I'll see you around, girls. Maybe we don't need a Chinese person. Well, I've already got a lesbian. What? Who? Me. Really? You don't look like a lesbian. What do you mean? Just that you're a bit short. Well, there's no height restrictions. As far as I'm aware. Interesting. I've always wanted a gay friend. I mean, ideally a fella. Howdy, folks. Christ. I'm Jenny. This is Ashley. We just thought we'd introduce ourselves and see. Too late, Jenny. She's ours. I see. Look, these girls are great, but I do have a pen pal from the Caribbean, so perhaps my circle is a little bit more diverse. Back off. We thought that we could. We were just trying to. Break them. We would like to speak to a solicitor, please. All in good time. For the tape, the inspector is refusing us the right of legal representation. There is no tape. Well, why can't we speak to a solicitor? I didn't say you couldn't. Oh, you. OK, so Sister Michael said the key was under the blob pops. <laughs> Let's work from left to right. Where is it? Is he going a bit blue? What? Shit. OK, let's try not to panic. Don't you pass sail there. I'm panicking. I'm fucking panicking. <laughs> oh, oh, find it. Are you Claire? That's right. Hey, I'm Chris. I'm here with Tara Martin. She's... 
Look up, where's she gone? <laughs> Tall, blonde, where's glasses? Ah, uh, Trumpy Tara! We just started seeing each other, actually. Oh, no. no. Not that kind of Trumpy. We just call her that because she's got quite a, a heavy gait. You, you should listen out for it. A anyway, what can I do for you? Uh, well, uh, I see you're hung on it with me. That's right. So, I know May from back home. From China. No, Donegal. Yes, right, sorry. No worries. <laughs> yeah, me went to my school. Did she ever tell you why she had to leave? H had to leave. Help! This woman has tried to abduct us! Help! Fire! Give up fire! Fire! What the fuck are you holding on? Take it to our tent to the rabbit somewhere! Kidnapper! Fire! Help! There's a kidnapper on fire! <laughs> it's the best spot! I got the best! Up in your face? See that bitch over there? That we gear? She tried to muscle in. Things got ugly. She'll think twice next time. You didn't fight that way in Dutty Claire. I did fight that way in Aaron, and I'll fight that way in again if I have to. What the fuck is wrong with you? People have been circling the spot like vultures. I've managed to hold them off so far, but it's only gonna get tougher. We must show no weakness. We must be as one. Are you ugly? Come on, link up. <sighs> Come on, team! She can't do this. She simply cannot do this. Well, she's done it, Claire. But it's history. She's making us miss history. Oh, but I really wanted to find out what that Cromwell fella got up to next. I really enjoy him. Not history class, Orla. Real history. History being made. And Irish people aren't allowed to enjoy Oliver Cromwell, Orla. Why? Because it was a fucking arsehole. Look, Bill doesn't even get here till 4 o'clock tomorrow. Bill? Here are you, Ma. We've got plenty of time, is all I'm saying. Do you know how packed that Guildhall Square is going to be, James? You have to camp overnight just to get a glimpse of them. Chelsea will sort us of out. Look, I'm not even sure I trust Chelsea anymore. Hi, right, Chelsea might be flaky. She does have crafty eyes. OK, I'm not comfortable with the Chelsea bashing gears. This is the biggest thing that's ever happened here, that's ever likely to happen here. We should be part of it. We will be. Are you suggesting we play truant? OK, normal people don't call it that, but yes. Yes, I am. You know what, girls? Sometimes in order to do the right thing, you have to do the wrong thing. And on this occasion, right is wrong and wrong is right. What the fuck are you on about? Are you going to sack off school or not? Let's do it. You're not getting anything? Sure aren't I doing this fast for Ethiopia? Well, for Christ's sake, what is it with you in Africa? Will you sponsor me? How much? Two pounds. Two pound, catch your cell phone. What's happening over there is really lousy, Aaron. Father Conway showed us a video and there's this one wee fella, Kamal. He's only ten and every morning he walks 25 miles in the year's well. Does he just really enjoy whales, eh? 25 miles? How far is that? Far. Like, how far are we talking? From here to Bongrana? Further. It's more like from here to Bally Buffet. Shut up. From here to Bally Buffet. Sure you'd be knackered? Kamal is knackered. Are you sure Kamal isn't exaggerating? Look, stop slagging off Kamal. Kamal doesn't have it easy. Will you sponsor me or not? Fine. Ah, you touch them, you buy them. That's the law. I don't think that is the law. If I say it's the law, it's the law, smart hole. Right, it's just I can't afford them anymore. I have to give all my money to Kamal. Who the fuck's Kamal? He's a wee Ethiopian fella from Bali Buffet, Dennis. Uh, do you want to sponsor me, Dennis? Get out! <sighs> There's so much on today. The Champs Elysees, the Arc de Triomphe, the Louvre. A French fella. <gasps> That's what I want to do. Nation of rights. My family's going funny just thinking about it. Well, could you not use that word, Michelle? What family? Why do you have to be so coarse? I just can't get my head around it. The fact that he's gone. Forever. It's so sad. It really is. It is so, so sad. But at the same time, you know what's done is done. So let's crack on. Oh, I'm sorry, Claire. Has his sudden tragic death interrupted your studies? Well, it has a bit, actually, yeah. Why can you be so hard? Like he was a dog, Aaron. Toto was much more than a dog. Toto was my best friend. Oh, Christ, I feel a bit bulky. Sweet suffering. Jesus, it's the morning already. What are we going to do? Well, maybe we could start with calming the fuck down. Calm down? We're still on William of Orange, Michelle. We haven't so much luck at the famine. We've got the gist. They ran out of spots everywhere. A medicine broth. Broth? Yeah. It's 
called sip. Broth is sip and sip is broth. Sip is sip and broth is something used to poison people in a horror movie. Seriously, Claire, as if this place isn't creepy enough. How long does this fast last? 24 hours. So I still have almost 23 hours to go. Fuck me, not the Africans again. Imagine being born there and not here. We don't know how lucky we are. I fair do, Darius class. I do, I. If there ever was a more shallow, self-absorbed, genuinely unpleasant human being to be like... Hi, Erin. Hi. Good, grand, not too bad. Can't complain. Is the answer I'd have given a few has to us. Right, are you signing up for Paris? I can't convince that lot to come. Looks like I'm going to need someone to hang out with. It would be an honour. Hey, well, I'll see you later then. You will, Charlene. Indeed you will! Did you hear that? The Charlene Gavin wants to hang around with little old me. You know what I admire most about you, Erin? Your unshakable principles. Of course. Trying to butter up the big woman. Oh, Mary, full of grace. Oh, Lord, just with thee. Blessed heart, though. Yeah. Oh, now you'll definitely pass. It's worth a try. Yes, I really don't feel great. I feel sort of shaky. I think my blood sugar's dangerously low. Seriously, will you just have an arse bar? What about Kumail? Fuck Kumail. Look, whatever happens in there, we have to stick together, okay? We have to back each other up. Yes, okay, I was there. I admit that, but I didn't do anything. It was Michelle. It was all Michelle. I'm not going down for something I didn't do. If anyone deserves to get punished, it should be Michelle. Well, I think it's safe to say we all just lost a bit of respect for you there, Claire. <gasps> Broken vase. There was a window open in there. It must have blown off a shelf. <gasps> Thank God. We are such fannies. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for a second there, I thought we might actually... <gasps> Jesus, Claire! Any joy with the trust fund? Nah, according to my ma, we're actually quite poor. Hi, I think we might be as well. What's yours? Uh, can I please get one one fish supper and one cowboy special, please, Vanilla? Thank you, please. I'll be ready when it's ready. Where the fuck are we going to get the money for Paris now? We could sell our organs. We could. We could sell our organs. Or, and um, forgive me if this is a bit left field, but could we not, you know, get jobs? Oh my God. What is it? Hey, big M. Hey, she just smirked at me. I think my body's gone into starvation mode. I think it's starting to shut down. For Christ's sake, Claire, you've just basically skipped lunch. You will never guess what she's done this time, Erin. Did she neck the notice board from the chip shop, Claire? <laughs> oh my God, look. Doesn't that dog look like Toto? I suppose it does a bit, yeah. Looks exactly like him. Here, boy. Halloween is class. There's just something about fancy dress that turns an ordinary night out into an absolute free-for-all. Riding wise. Beautiful. It really is. Shifky Street's gonna be a total fucking fiddle fest. We really need to decide in our costumes, girls. Time is ticking. Pound stretchers already run out of glitter. Fuck off. I was thinking of angels, you know, like Claire Danes and Romeo and Juliet. I like it. Simple, classic. And I can wear my white hot pants, which show just the right amount of arse cheek. Oh, that's decided then. Mm -hmm. Claire, see that girl? Yeah. Her name's Laurie. She's a lazy. That's Laurie the lazy. We don't say lazy, Michelle. What's wrong with saying lazy? You can say lazy. All the gays say lazy. It's like an industry term now, Claire. You should tell her, Claire. Tell her what? That you're a lazy too. That's enough. So this could be your big chance. My big chance? Well, have you ever even met another lazy? Stop saying lazy. Just because I'm gay doesn't mean I see every other gay woman as a potential suitor. I keep saying things like suitor, Claire. That'll help you offload the old virginity. Why won't you just tell her? Because it's pathetic, Erin. Hey there. Hi, I'm a lesbian. Congratulations. Thank you. How many of you are there? Just me. Uh, just the one lesbian. The rest of them are straight. How, how many tickets do you need? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see five, please. 
Well, this is your lucky day. Only five left. Yes! Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I'm going myself, actually. I'll be the clown, propping up the bar. You're not a clown. Oh, no, I mean, I'll, I'll be dressed as a clown, like, like it's my costume. Right, yeah, no, I get that. You should come say hello. I will. I totally will. I, I definitely will. I will. I'll, I'll do that. I will. So do you think you will, will Claire? Shut up. Sorry, folks. That's our sold-out night. What? Yeah. No. No, they cut in. This isn't fair. They skipped those... Balls we did. It's the truth, I swear. I'll have to speak to my manager. Oh, we didn't skip you. Who do you think the manager's going to believe? A couple of spotty kids or a grown man? Elderly man. It's a happy death. You should be looking for enough fat boys, son. Take it, you fucking pensioner. Just do one. Why should we? Uh, because I've been a fat boy fan way longer than you. Uh, is that because you're his grinder? Fuck off. You fuck off. Do not test me. We're not afraid, he. <laughs> All right, Mad Stab, how's it going? Not bad. Mad Stab? I is that like your Christian name? I want the tickets. Well, you're not getting them. You're upsetting me now. <laughs> you know, now I'm getting real fucking upset here. We didn't mean to upset you. Mr. Stab, honestly, that's the last thing we want to do, but don't you think you're being slightly unreasonable here? No. Right. My manager says we're going to have to toss a coin. Fuck that. I'll fly him for them. Excuse me, please? Yeah, that seems fair. Me, you, outside now, let's go. He gets first egg. Why? I just feel like I should give him a chance. Lamp him, James! I don't want to lamp him, Michelle, because if I lamp him, he'll definitely lamp me! What the fuck are you waiting for? Come on, James! No, James, you can do it! I expected better from you, Claire. I'm sorry, but we need to get those tickets. Hear me for fuck's sake! She's an inspiration. Absolutely. She really knows how to grab things by the balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's changed my life. She really has. She likes my accent. I dare for her. I think I would too, you know. Me too. I fuck it, why not? Yeah. I mean, obviously, I totally agree. I'd die for her as well. But I'm also conscious of the fact we've only known her like two days. And. Well, it's a bit weird. She's invited us around to her house at night. What do you mean? Because she's a teacher. She's much more than a teacher. Yeah, no, obviously, I get that she's great, but it's just that I have a feeling I might be sort of frowned upon. God, Claire, you're so conditioned. What's that supposed to mean? It means you need to listen the fuck up. I am loose. Thank you very much. Basically, Claire, you're a crack killer? Not a crack killer. I am not a crack killer! Some wine. Oh, no, actually, I don't. Cheers. Again. Oh, oh, She's absolutely fucking flying. Well, well, well. What are you guys up to? Nothing much. We were just hanging out at Mr. Burns' house. You were at her house? At night? Well, that's a bit inappropriate. Your yeah, ma, is it a bit inappropriate? That doesn't even make sense. Your ma, this doesn't even make sense. Is she drunk? Your ma's drunk. Okay, Claire. Yeah, I think we get the idea. Oh, lovely seeing you, Jack. Take care now. Is it any wonder, Claire? What are you wearing? Yeah, you look like a fucking provo. Look, I don't want anyone recognizing me, okay? No one's gonna recognize you, Claire. Claire Devlin, is that you? Jesus Christ. Relax, Claire. It's the weekend. She has no authority over us at the weekend. She has no right to question us. And if she tries to, I'll tell her as much. Morning, girls. Morning. Morning, Sister Morning. Michael. What takes you to Belfast? A history project. This web of lies we're spinning is getting out of control now, girls. It's Grand Claire, I think she bought it. Of course she didn't buy it. She's on to us, I'm telling you. But I'm sweltered here. Then take it off. I can't take it off, I've nothing underneath it. What, not even a bra? Jesus, Claire, you've no bra on. Of course I've got a bra on. I haven't got a bra on. Can everyone please stop saying bra? But I can hardly parade around in just my bra, can I? I'm not Madonna. What are you supposed to be? Swans? We're not swans. Are we not? We're angels. Angels don't use crutches. And swans do. Oh, you're a swan expert now, are you? Yeah, that's precisely what I said. God love you, son. Imagine beating you up just because you like slim boy fat. Yeah, I still can't quite believe it myself, actually. <gasps> That'll be Daddy! <gasps> oh, I love his wee toy car. <gasps> Daddy, what's this? A new car. Do you like it? What happened to the van? Oh, I had to get rid of it. Christ, but it stank a fish. <gasps> We're not going to fit in there! Of course you will. I'll stack you. You'll what? I'll lay you across the back seat one on top of each other. Layer you up, so to speak. So, what's the plan then, Sean? You gonna stack them? Oh, aye. Otherwise, I'm looking at two runs, and sure, who has time for that? I could take some of them. We have to arrive to kill her, Daddy. It's an ensemble costume, Jerry. Aye, sure, you can't separate the flock. We're not swans. <gasps> Need a hand stacking them, Sean? Ach, nah, I'll be grand, sure. I'm only after doing up a load of plasterboard there. You're not stacking us, Daddy. We're not plasterboard. We're VIPs, for God's sake. True enough. VIPs should travel in style. <laughs>
I was like a thief in the night. You were like a thief in the night? You actually were a thief in the night? And you stole from Vanilla, of all people. Vanilla, I once saw her punch a Rottweiler, Michelle. If she finds out about this, she'll kill you. Don't look at me like that, Aaron. You'll get your two points back. But will you ever get your self-respect back, Claire? God, no, this is hard. I said we needed a miracle, and behold, we have been given one. This isn't a miracle, Claire. You told your ma. OK, I cracked. I couldn't handle it, and I cracked. Oh, killing nuns now, is it? I didn't, Daddy. You wait until your mother hears about this. And after that, the statue, well, you claim it started weeping. You're using the word claim a lot there, Peter. Girls, I'm not here to make any judgments. I'm just trying to get the truth, that's all. You think we're lying, don't you? No, of course not. I do. I can't handle it. I think I'm going to crack. OK, look, this has got way out of hand. The tears on the statue. Well, I actually have good reason to believe they were actually dog piss. No, you're not serious. Deadly serious. Sweet and gentle Jesus. I mean, that sort of makes sense. I'm not even sure I saw a smirk anymore. I've had a lot of caffeine. <laughs> She's lazy hunting. That's what's going on. I love lazy hunting. There's hundreds of them. That's good, isn't it? Not hundreds of lesbians, James. Hundreds of clowns. There's clowns to the left of me, clowns to the right. It's like a clown shop. Or a circus. It's not the time for semantics. We need to go, Claire. No, come on. What about Laurie? Fuck Laurie. We're going to meet the actual fat boy slum, not without my lazy. Uh, I'm very sorry for all your trouble. You know, the whole <laughs> at the power plant. OK. When you think about it, we've actually got a lot in common because we understand what it's like to be a young person from a troubled place. Mm, it is not the same. Chernobyl was a terrible nuclear accident. You people like to fight each other, and to be honest, no person really understands why. Well, there's actually a political element to it, Katya, and there's a religious element. Mm, but you're not two different religions here. You're different flavors of the same religion, no? It's a little bit more complicated than that, Ketya. To me, it's stupid. Oh, my God. It is stupid. It is so, so stupid. Hi, girls. Have you got a Union Jack splashed across your tits, Claire? I'm making a point. Is the point I'd like to get beaten up? Me wearing this, it should be meaningless. These are just colours and shapes. This flag is not an identity. We need to take the power out of these symbols. Genuine question. Why can't you just be fucking normal? Real life lesbian walks among us. I don't really believe in lesbian. This is perfect. We'll just print this. Come on, Erin, you can't do that. Why not? We'll get in trouble, real trouble, big trouble. You're not afraid of a bit of controversy, are you? Yes. Actually, yes, I am. Something like this could go on our permanent record, Erin. And what's more important, Claire? Your permanent record or telling this poor girl story? My permanent record. Count me out. What's happening? She seems to be really enjoying it. Is he enjoying it? It's hard to tell. Well, if he's not enjoying it, isn't that sort of sexual harassment? -y? We need to tell the truth. No! No fucking way. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Look, Claire. Take a long, hard look at that. And this is only the beginning. The Dairy Journal are on their way round. They said we can make page five. Aaron, tell her! Yeah, we could tell the truth. I sort of like the fact that Peter thinks I'm the chosen one, so... James! I have a slight concern. The truth might affect my friendship with Peter. You don't have a friendship with Peter? Yes, I do. We have a lot in common, Claire. Like what? I mean, apart from the fact you appear to be wearing his clothes? Hello? When? Why the hell are we meant to find her? You can't exactly walk up to someone and ask if they're a lesbian. Sorry, excuse me. Are you a lesbian? I stand corrected. Three minutes to Fat Boy Slim is on this very stage. Three minutes? Come on, Claire. I'm like a lover, guys. Oh, 
wise up. We'll never find her on time. I say we just start whipping people's masks off. Can I just sign the hand slap? Sorry. Sorry. Can I see your face? Could I just, um... I don't understand. How did you... I, I, I told the ticket! I killed them back together, motherfucker! Oh, I see. You are so fucking dead. <laughs> Please. Please. What an under Whitney! Yeah. There's nothing wrong with him. He's a nutter. Yeah, we shit. No, not the climb, the swans. Grab the swans. Where are the swans? Yeah. You'll be hearing from our solicitor. We're shitting ourselves. Claire, what's going on? Oh, give us a second here, would you? You're getting kicked out. What for? Fighting. Oh, my God. <gasps> well, it's a pity, cos I was sort of planning on kissing you tonight. Is that a joke? I mean, cos it's fine I, 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 if it is a joke. I mean, it's hilarious, but I just wanted to check in case it isn't. OK. D does this mean we're going steady? <laughs> Let's, uh, let's maybe see how it goes. All right, Juliet, Juliet, let's go. Knock it on the head. Thank you. I, I mean, sure. I mean, great. I mean... Bye, Claire. Uh, great. Maybe it's just his timing. We're all going to have sex at some point. You probably won't, Claire. I, I can't see that either, to be honest, Claire. Listen to it. I mean, just listen to it. I mean, I can't. I mean, I don't. I mean, why do they have to be so loud? Breathe, love. Far worse for me, Claire. I mean, my hearing's impeccable. I've read the same paragraph 47 times because I can't concentrate because, oh my God, the noise! This whale, he's a bad Brit, Mrs. Quinn. I have to know if they catch him. Can I come away with you, please? Okay, well, if your mother has no objections, I don't see why not. Thank you. Thank you. I'll never forget this. Thank you. She's taking you to a caravan in Port now. She's not giving you a kidney, Claire. Oh, here we are. Thank God. Whatever you do, don't slag off the Pope. We're outnumbered. You should be ashamed of yourself. I know. I'm sorry. It all just made me a bit nervous. Everything makes you nervous, Claire. You're a walking cack attack. I can't help that. It's the way God made me. Michelle's running around saying it's her, that she wrote the story, that she's a wee lesbian. That's a flick. Be more chance for being you. It is me. No, I mean, I'd be less surprised if it was you. It is. No, it's not. But if it was. Erin, it's me. I'm the wee lesbian. I so you are, Claire. I'm not joking. You're. You're a lesbian. I've never been brave enough to say it out loud before, but I think that's why I wrote this story, and then it all got too real. I got too scared, but now. Well. You made me realise it's all okay. Don't blame me. What? You fancy gears? Well, that's sort of an entry level requirement, Erin. I think I'm going to book. Do you mind? I'm trying to come out here. Well, don't. Don't come out. Go back in. I don't want to go back in. Well, I'm sorry, Claire, but I'm just not interested in you, not like that. I'm not interested in you like that look of this stadia. <laughs> oh, come off it. Your arrogance is staggering, Erin. Well, you know what else is staggering? Your gayness. I really thought you'd understand. What's wrong with her? She's such a duck. Yeah, she might be a duck. But she's my duck! Did Laurie plant the lips on you back there? 
Yeah. <laughs> We're homestead. Oh my god, Claire, that's amazing. I know. Oh my god. Daddy? What's going on? What are you doing here? Daddy, what is it? What's wrong? Claire, love, um, your dad. What does that mean? I don't understand what that means. An aneurysm? I'm not sure. It's not good. But he'll be okay, won't he? He'll be okay. We've come a long, long way together Through the hard times and the good I have to celebrate you, baby I have to praise you like I should We've come a long, long way together How are things now? What's happening? It's really, really bad. James? Hello? It's really, really bad. James, I can't hear you. I think there's a problem with the line. There's not a problem with the line, Claire. I'm mumbling. Why are you mumbling? Because Michelle's upstairs and I don't want her to hear me. Who are you talking to, James? Oh, Christ. Hi, Michelle. What's going on? Look, just leave it alone, OK? I am never, ever, ever speaking to that dickhead again. Ever. Well, that's a start. I um, mean, not a great start. Oh, hold on one second. Hey, Claire. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm good, Grand, thanks. Never been better. Michelle? Haven't even thought about Michelle. It's sort of like, who's Michelle, you know? I sort of think I'd like growing around with. Listen, it was an argument. It's a sensitive subject. Things got heated. It happened. Be needy, apologize. You think I should apologize? Shit, no, what did I do? I'm not apologizing. No, look. On the other line. Oh, so she thinks I should apologise. It's unbelievable. What's happening, Claire? Just, just one second. Hello? Where'd you go? I was on the other line. Talking to who? Michelle. Do you want a pop tart, Aaron? No, I'm good, thanks. Claire? I'm in Straban. And your point goes? Oh. Look, Aaron. someone asked you to make the first move here. You're telling me you don't want Michelle to come to your party. She doesn't want me to come to your party. Why do I keep doing that? Well, she can stick her party up her hole. Shit, Claire. What are you going to tell Erin? Well, I can't tell her. Michelle thinks she should stick her party up her hole. Oh, does she know you? Jesus Christ! Well, you can tell Michelle that I didn't want her there anyway. Claire? Yeah? What's going on? I think peace negotiations have just broken down. I'm glad Jenny's party was so cracker. What? I mean, she had everything. A magician. Firework display, karaoke machine, river dance, we horse. Yeah, okay, Orla. And all it did was made me realise I'd still rather just be standing here on the walls with you guys. Orla. At last! Oh. All right, Mary Poppins, I've had a shocker, girls. Clear what happened? I lost my timetable, the bus broke down, fan bell snapped, all these old women were taking their tights off and handing them to the driver, and he was like, this isn't a film, I'm not a mechanic. Then I finally get to the power show and I get cornered by your uncle Colm. Christ. I managed to free myself, and then some Wayne told me you went to Jenny Joyce's house, and then when I got there, the weirdest thing happened. <laughs> well, I am looking for you lot when I bump into Jenny, he tells me. Oh no, they all left, I think. 
It was probably a bit upsetting for Erin, realizing the entire year chose my party instead of hers. I did try and warn her, and I thought to myself, wouldn't it be a pity if there was a blackout? Blackout? So I said to Jenny, either the party's over or we relocate it. Jesus, Claire, where the hell is this gaff? Oh my God! <laughs>